Hey guys, today's video, and by the way, it's been a it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys and uh, put some videos out for you for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's been a week. But uh, again, last week uh, when I for last made a video and put it out for you guys to watch, I again I did promise that I'd put out my first official 2021 Atlanta Hurricane season forecast at the very end of April uh, or very beginning of May. And obviously, it's the first day of May, so I'm putting it out now in the very beginning of May. 14 days from now, the National Hurricane Center will start issuing their regular tropical weather outlooks for this year's hurricane season. So uh, we're in the final stretch now. And uh, so here's my uh, 20, uh, my first official 2021 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. So uh, to go through before I give you my forecast, I'm going to give you some of the factors that are going into my forecast. Like the current, um, the current Atlantic sea, surf sea surface temperature anomalies. And you can see that... Uh, this is um, valid for April 30th, so that was yesterday. And uh, you can see across much of the Atlantic, uh, particularly the Gulf, the Caribbean, off the southeast coast, and even into the MDR, the main de development region, it's very warm. The, te the sea surface temperatures are very, very w warm. Uh, anywhere from 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. The Caribbean, in fact, all of the Caribbean is pretty much at 28 degrees Celsius or maybe a little higher than that. The Gulf is generally 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. And uh, the MDR uh, from Africa to, towards, the, uh, towards the Leeward Islands is generally between, uh, I'd say, 20, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius to generally way up to or towards around 28 to 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. And then off the southeast coast, uh, it has uh, 26 degrees Celsius uh, sea surface temperatures, to even 27 or, and some spots 28 degrees Celsius waters. But uh, again, this is, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's April 30th, May 1st, very end of April, it's, we're beginning May now. And the Atlantic in general, especially where we look to see where, generally where tropical cyclones in the Atlantic form, it's already very, very above average for this time of year, especially. And of course, it's going to continue to warm a ton as we move forward through the rest of the season. And of course, obviously, through the peak of the season, that'll be very interesting to see um, how the Atlantic tropical cyclone activity responds to the conditions going on then. Um, because, well, uh, even, even if... Uh, even when we get there, the sea surface temperatures won't be a problem, most likely, for and for tropical cyclones to form. It'll be really other things that we'll, we'll have to look to to see uh, how much trouble tropical cyclones will have forming, uh, like wind shear and that sort of thing. Now, here's the current Enzo outlook. And um, this, uh, this was put out at the beginning of April, uh, I believe. And um, this is what, uh, yeah, this is the early April 2021. Uh, this was put out by the CPC. And you can see we're still in a La Nina, but we're about to transition into a neutral Enzo phase. And it looks like we'll stick with that neutral Enzo phase all the way through hurricane season pretty much up until like the very end of it where the CPC is indicating we may transition back to a La Nina. But, you know, of course we'll see that's still a long ways out. Many more updates of the Enzo um, outlooks will come out uh, over those many months from now through October, November, and December. And then, of course, uh, here, well, here's the, uh, here's, um, well, like a bunch of models are showing for uh, where we could go, and obviously we're at, like, pretty much a minimal La Nina at this point, to be honest. And then we'll enter a neutral pretty much within the next month or so, and we should generally stay in the neutral phase pretty much all throughout hurricane season and even towards uh, and even getting towards this next upcoming winter. So uh, it looks like this year's Atlantic hurricane season will be uh, be uh, dominated by a neutral Enzo phase, which uh, does which does indicate that the Atlantic hurricane season could be uh, slightly more active than usual, obviously. Uh, if it's a La Nina, then that really indicates that the hurricane season could definitely be very, very active like it was last year. There was a La Nina Enzo phase dictating how active the Atlantic hurricane season was. And, well, we had the most active Atlantic hurricane season on record last year. So, you know, um, this year it's not a La Nina. It's a, most likely going to be ruled generally by a neutral Enzo phase. So uh, the, uh, the above average activity that will potentially occur will definitely be a lot less than what you would expect to see with a La Nina. But um, 
you know, still, we're going to continue to monitor that as we move through the hurricane season and as we start and start monitoring more tropical cyclones as they form. Now, here's the current 2021 Atlantic hurricane season forecast from, uh, from professional agencies. Uh, I pulled this from the Wikipedia page for the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. You can see here's the average, the new average between 1991 to 2020, the new, that new 30-year average. Now, uh, the average amount of named storms are at 14.4, so pretty much generally 14 named storms. 7.2 hurricanes, so practically around 7 hurricanes for the average hurricanes now, and 3.2 major hurricanes, so generally around 3 major hurricanes is now average. Um, so, uh, and mainly the differences between this, this new 30-year average and the previous 30-year average between 1981 and 2010 is that the... Name storm, name storm count in total in general has gone up a good bit from 12 to 14 now by two name storms. It's actually quite significant. Um, and then the hurricanes has gone up by about one or so. Now, uh, the record high activity, 30 name storms that happened last year in 2020. And then the record amount of hurricanes and major hurricanes of 15 and 7 occurred way back in 2005. Now, here's the uh, a bunch of the... Um, uh, up to this point in time, the current uh, 2021 Atlantic hurricane season forecasts. Generally, all of these outlook, uh, uh, outlets are major outlets are forecasting generally between 16 to 18 named storms, well, maybe 15 to 18 named storms, we'll say, um, 7 to 9 hurricanes, and 2 to 4 major hurricanes. So, uh, at the very least, slightly above average than uh, what the new average is looking like now for, uh, for now, uh, going into just new 30 years the, for that 30-year average. So it uh, looks like this hurricane season, again, will or could be uh, generally slightly above average compared to average um, and definitely a lot less af active than last year. Last year was a pretty, you could say hyperactive, but definitely a very, very well above average hurricane season. Um, now, here's my official, first official Atlantic 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, I like the background. I, I picked uh, Hurricane Ada for the background. Uh, it's a very cool system that uh, occurred last year. In November, um, in the beginning couple, the beginning two weeks of November, it was a very cool hurricane, five nautical mile pinhole eyes, very cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so my official first official twenty twenty one Atlantic hurricane season forecast, I'm calling for eighteen named storms, nine hurricanes, and five major hurricanes. So particularly in the major hurricane department, of, for what I'm forecasting, I'm forecasting. A uh, little bit, just a little bit higher than what uh, the other uh, the other um, agencies, the other professional agencies are calling for. They're generally calling for between two to four major hurricanes. I'm calling for five. So I'm thinking maybe we could have a little bit more active in a, of a major hurricane season this year. But you know, generally, I'm I'm in a general agreement with uh, so far the professional forecasts that have come out so far, um, especially. Uh, with the named storm forecast and the hurricane forecast at 18 and 9. And a new thing that I added in for my forecast that I didn't do last year was uh, how many preseason named storms we could see before June 1st. And I said uh, 1 to 3 potentially because obviously the past six years we saw generally from 2016 to 2020, it was five years actually, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, we generally saw 1 to 2 uh, early or preseason named storms. So this year, generally, I'm thinking the same, one to three, and I'm, I'm going with a three on the high end, mainly because of the fact of how warm the sea surface temperatures are currently, um, and uh, so, uh, so yeah, that's the main reason, but of course, we could um, see w only one preseason named storm occur. Uh, with the potentially with the fact that maybe the conditions in the Atlantic aren't as favorable for some preseason uh, as for um, a handful of preseason storms to occur. Now, obviously, this is uh, now I will actually I will clarify that my preseason uh, named storm forecast of one to three is with, included with the named storm. So we'll see a, a total of eighteen named storms, including the potential of a one to three preseason named storms. So during the actual hurricane season between June first. And November 30th, well, uh, according to my forecast, we could see generally um, between uh, between 17 or sorry, yeah, um, 15 to 17 named storms or so, some somewhere around that uh, during the actual hurricane season between June 1st and November 30th. But uh, again, the preseason named storms, I think we could see one to three preseason named storms, uh, which is pretty much very much in line 
with the past uh, several seasons um, that we've seen. So, uh, again, that's my f first official forecast for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, comment down below what you guys think about my first official forecast, what you guys are, th what your guys' thoughts are on it, and uh, what you guys are thinking on what you're forecasting for this year's Atlantic hurricane season. What do you, what, uh, how many named storms, how many hurricanes, how many major hurricanes do you think we'll see? And maybe as a bonus, uh, let's, uh, have a conversation about how many, potentially how many, uh, preseason named storms we could see this year. Uh, since this is, uh, this is kind of expected at this point that we see some pre some amount of preseason named storms before the official start of the hurricane season. So uh, let's have a nice lively discussion down below in the comments section. Talk about what our forecasts are for this year's hurricane season. Um, what do you guys think about what I'm forecasting? Do you guys agree, disagree? Let's have a nice, respectful, yet uh, very lively discussion down there in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this kind of weather content, please consider subscribing down below. And if you're already subscribed, subscribe to my channel make sure those bell notifications are on for my channel so you get feature updates on weather uh, different weather events and um, uh, weather systems um, and uh, all of that fun stuff so again make sure you subscribe down below like the video down below let's have a nice fun lively and uh, interesting discussion down there in the comments section uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye